we're going to look at how to add two fractions with unlike denominators together. The first thing that we need to do is we need to find a common denominator. So we need to find two equivalent fractions for, first of all, for two-thirds, we'll need to find an equivalent fraction, and then for three-eighths, where both their denominators are the same. Now, what I like to do is I like to write out all the factors for both denominators until I see that I have a match. So let's start by counting by threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Now I'll do the same for 8s. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56. Okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to look for the first time where I see these that uh, the same number in both the three factors, or the multiples of three rather, and the multiples of eight. So let's go ahead and look through this. With three I could see there's no three under the eights, there's no six, there's no nine, there's no twelve, no fifteen, no eighteen, no twenty-one, but I do see a twenty-four. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find an equivalent fraction for both of these where 24 is the denominator. Let's start with 2 thirds. How did I get from 3 to 24 by multiplication? Well, I multiplied by 8, which means I have to multiply the top by 8. 2 times 8 is 16. Now we'll do the same process with the bottom. How did I go from 8 to 24 with multiplication? Well, 8 times 3 is 24, so I need to multiply the top by 3 as well. 3 times 3 is 9. Now what we have here is we have two equivalent fractions, with me, which means these fractions are actually the exact same as 2 thirds and 3 eighths. We're just using different numbers to represent them. So 2 thirds was equal to 16 24ths. So I'm going to go ahead and say instead of 2 thirds, I'm going to have 16 24ths. And then I'm going to say 3 eighths was the same as 9 24ths. And I'll add that in. And now I could add the 2 because my denominators are the same. 16 plus 9, I add the numerators, the denominator remains. 16 plus 9 is 25, and 24 stays our denominator. There's a simple three-step process to um, adding when the denominators are not the same, when you have unlike denominators. First, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a common denominator. So what we did there was we listed out the multiples of each and then found one that matched. You could also just multiply the two denominators together. 3 times 8, for instance, was equal to 24, and just use that as your denominator. Once you find a common denominator, then what you need to do is you need to generate equivalent fractions with both. So that's where we said, well, what does 2 thirds equal to when 24 is its denominator? And what does 3 eighths equal when 24 is its denominator? And then once you have the equivalent fractions, you need to add the equivalent fractions together. That is the three-step process to adding two fractions when you have unlike denominators.